Hey everybody, it's Reckless. So, in this video, I will actually be going over my Titan class, and this will be video one of three. And the first subclass we're actually gonna talk about is the Striker class. Now, as you can tell, my Titan is a female, and I do have two female characters, one male character. My male character is my main, my females are my Titan and my Hunter. Um, for some reason, you know, I think it's badass to get your ass whooped by a female. I don't troll just because of the simple fact of it's stupid. Anyways, so let's actually get into the subclass and all these wonderful things we have. So we're going to talk about the subclass, all the weapons for PvE and PvP, the stats, and then also all of the wonderful uh, armor. We'll start with the subclass first. I use lightning grenades, and if you haven't seen my chess piece, then I will explain why. Uh, I use increased control for my jump. I use shockwave for my super. I used to use aftermath. Unfortunately, when using Fist of Havoc, I was having issues, um, so I kind of switched over to shockwave. I only use aftermath when it's like a control type uh, game mode for PvP. Other than that, I will stay with shockwave. I suck with death from above, so I don't even plan on ever using it. Um, I use Amplify for my melee, Titan Codex 2, Aftershocks for that for that uh, lightning grenade. It'll give like four and a half ticks, uh, so it's definitely pretty good. The Titan Codex 5 and Solar Charge. Now, I used to use Unstoppable, and as you can tell, it does give you extra armor, and it does say you are harder to kill while using uh, Fist of Havoc. However... <sighs> There's been times where I've tried to use Fist of Havoc and it kind of fucked me over. So, I pretty much gave up on it and I would rather come around a corner, shoulder charge, and then, you know, use my wonderful uh, Fist of Havoc and actually kill things. So, like I said, went from Unstoppable, switched to shoulder charge, and that is pretty much the subclass. For PvP, I use the Meta Multi Tool, Conspiracy Theory D, and I actually use the Suros JLB 47 with uh, Grenades and Horseshoes. Um, sometimes, depending on what I'm doing, I will switch from the shotgun to my Thousand Yard Stare. As for PVE, I got my Haro Dumachelchus, Black Spindle, and I will stay with the Suros. Um, just for, you know, there's really no reason else to switch. The majority of the time, I'm going to be one of the Titans in the middle for Oryx. So, I see no reason to switch out to the Raised Lighter. So, I will keep the Soros and pretty much go from there. Whoops. Now, as for stats, since this is the Striker class, I want to maximize my discipline because of my armamentarium which gains an additional grenade charge now obviously an additional grenade charge gives you a secondary grenade using lightning grenades so one lightning grenade every 25 seconds is definitely a plus especially that when uh you first spawn into the game you start off with both of your lightning grenades so figure that'd be awesome and go from there next i would actually do as much intellect as possible and the same thing for all my classes, I say at least tier two in strength. And I, I want to say, I say that for every class except for the hunter class. And when I get into the hunter subclass, I'll actually go into why. Um, so, this is pretty much just raid gear. Again, armamentarium. Uh, mine has an intellect discipline build. With special ammo and heavy ammo, uh, solar recovery, and solar armor. If I found one that had arc, then I probably would most likely use that. So, this is the build for my Titan. Let me know what you guys think about the video in the comments below. This is Reckless. I will see you guys later. And don't forget, you get hurt, hurt them bad. You get killed, walk it off.